guys, what's going on? It is Dylan, and I am back again with another DJI Mavic Pro tutorial video. And today I'm doing something that I've basically already done, kind of a little twist on it. And um, also with the addition of now I have a screen capturing device for my iPhone. So that's going to kind of help to where you guys can see that, unlike my original Active Track video. Um, that video will be in, at the end of this video to where you can click on it and watch it if you have yet to see it. But I'm going to um, go over all three of the Active Track modes. And this video is going to be a little different again because it's Active Track in the three modes but it's gonna be the vehicle edition. Let's do it. Okay, so as you can see, I am in the truck and I am now launching my drone. And I'm just gonna kinda take it straight up. And I'm gonna take it up about, oh, I don't know, 75 feet, 80 feet, something like that. And I'm going to find myself. It should be right below. And I kinda want to uh, visually look out just make sure oh yeah I'm quite a quite a ways above anything uh, that would be a threat as far as maybe hitting something and I'm actually gonna go just go ahead and go up to about 90 feet okay again we're doing active track mode guys um, again I've already had a video on it but I just wanted to do another one uh, the vehicle edition all this being taken all this taking place and being done right here inside the truck as you can see so I'll switch back from my GoPro that I'm talking to right now and then go to the uh, screen recording app like that. So anyways, um, first thing you're gonna do, get into active tracks on your, over there on the left, you see the three icons, you're gonna hit that remote icon, which takes you to your intelligent flight modes. Then we're gonna upper right corner, you see active track. We're gonna click on that. And then um, what we're going to do, okay, active track. What we're going to do is we're gonna draw a box around what we wanna track and as you can see, it pops up a little vehicle icon, so that's smart in that it um, it recognizes, you know, this is a vehicle, so it shows a little car icon. Now, over there on the far right, after you do that, you'll see Trace, Profile, and Spotlight. We're just going to do Trace at first, and as you can see here, it says, Mark a subject, and the aircraft will track it automatically. Use the DJI GO control circling speed and distance. Obstacle avoidance is disabled, so guys, remember that when you're doing um, obstacle, or active trap there is no obstacle avoidance so now it is tracking us and I'm gonna go ahead and push record and we're going to uh, we're going to take off driving and it's it's pretty cool because the actual gimbal the gimbal will actually tilt based on your speed and keeping you in the shot and um, I think the drone you know, in sport mode, it'll go up into like the high 30s, low 40s miles per hour. But um, as far as just um, its regular mode and active track, I think it goes anywhere from about 22 to 25 miles per hour. Right now, I'm going right at 20 miles per hour down this uh, gravel road. And as you can see, it's doing a great job of just keeping me right in center frame, uh, you know, right in the right in the shot. So that's really awesome stuff because that's the whole thing about these drones is you might want to use it or need it to get some uh, cinematic shots such as this showing you driving somewhere to kind of set up one of your videos if you're into production videos or just whatever you want to use it for really but um anyways i think there's a pull in up here somewhere and again this was just the first mode and as you i'm going to go ahead and speed it up a little bit just to see how it does i'm going 25 now let's get it up to 30 and see what happens See if it stays up, keeps up with us. Man, it's it's doing, I'm going 30 miles an hour just right on the dot. And it still seems to be just doing just fine and keeping up with us. So anyways, that's a pretty cool little deal. Let's just go ahead and uh, let's just get up here to where we can turn around or pull in or something. And then we'll uh, stop this and we'll switch to the next mode. Okay, so I canceled that active track mode. And as you can see, I'm just turning around here in the intersection. Guys, I'm way out here in the boondocks, way out here in the country on the uh, um, outside of my small town that I live in. Okay, so now let's, I wanna try this. 
I'm actually just navigating the drone normally as you normally would. Let me pull over in case somebody does happen to come and I'm not just sitting there, you know, blocking their way. Okay guys, so now you've seen um, the first um, version or the first mode, which is trace. And now we are going to actually do, back in active track, find the vehicle. Before you click go, we're going to do profile. Now what profile does, as you can see here, the aircraft will fly at a constant distance from the selected subject in profile mode. Obstacle avoidance is not available in this mode. So it should keep my vehicle at a, you know, from the side, the profile right there, and it's tracking. So let's just start going again. I don't know if this tree right here, which is to the right of me, is gonna mess this up. This tree actually might mess it up right here. Let's see what happens. Oh, can you find me? Yeah, that tree. Oh, but it found me back again. That's pretty cool. It found it. Now it's catching up. And as you can see, it's doing a good job there of uh, getting back in my profile uh, vantage point. So as you can see, I put the controller down and it is just tracking a perfect profile shot of me. And I am going 20 Let's take it up to about 30. Let's take, get the old truck up to about 30 miles per hour and see if it keeps up with us from this profile uh, point of view. And it's getting a little bit behind. As you can see, it's not perfectly a profile. I'm at 30 miles per hour right now. And as you can see, it's starting to have kind of a hard time hanging in there. So. Um, I would suggest if you're gonna do profile in a vehicle, I'd keep keep your uh, speed down to about 20 miles per hour or so. So let's just go ahead and stop, and let's cancel that, and we'll pull over. And we're going to hit stop. Okay, pretty cool stuff. Now what I wanna show you guys is just kind of a variant that you can do in trace mode, which was the first one that we already did. Now what's cool about this, and I don't know how good this will work, we're gonna have to go pretty slow. This is probably made more in line for like tracking somebody that's walking or on, maybe on a bicycle or something where you're going slower. So I'm only gonna go about 10 miles an hour probably on this. But we're gonna go back to intelligent flight modes, active track, and again, this is just gonna be a variant, something that you can add on or do to trace mode to make it a little more cinematic. All right, draw our box, let's don't trace, let's don't, trace a cow let's don't track a cow we're gonna hit trace and we're gonna hit go okay now as you can see now guys right what would be in front of my truck if you're looking at it from my nose of my truck the front of my truck perspective you'll see that little uh, ball with lines going out to the left and right what that does is is that'll make the drone actually revolve around in a circle and so I'm gonna take it clear up to 100% and as you can see well maybe that's a little too fast Let's take it down to about 50, 48. Now what's gonna happen is, is I'm gonna resume and go, check your cows out later, I know y'all are hungry. Um, is we're, we're gonna go and what it's gonna do is, is it's actually, what happened? Something just happened with my phone. Ah, subject too small. Why are you, it, this isn't perfect, this isn't perfect. Okay, found it, go, 50%. 40%, 42%, why not? Okay, so as you can see, it's starting to circle my truck, and here I go, and I'm gonna go about 10 mile an hour, and we're gonna see how good it does actually um, doing a continuous circle around my truck. It may have a hard time right now at this point getting up in front of me because I'm going 10 miles per hour, so we'll just have to see what it does. Let's go ahead and bump it up just because I'm impatient. Uh, cannot track subject. Uh, stop go 100% now let's resume a little bit there's the drone it's circling I'm going about 10 miles per hour this will be interesting to see how it handles this right here where it gets in front of me man does a pretty good job again i'm going about 10 miles an hour so anyways guys that's just like a cinematic looking shot you can get um just something you can kind of add uh oh it's falling back pretty far behind is it going to lose me 
I'm going, oh, I'm going 15 miles an hour. Yeah, look how far away it's getting. I'm gonna go ahead and just play it safe and stop, get out of active track mode, go to normal, and I'm gonna fly it back over here to me. Now for this third mode, guys, it's known as spotlight mode. This whole straight road thing isn't an ideal situation for um, spotlight mode because what spotlight mode it does is, is you just think about your drone being a spotlight. It's just stationary, it stays there. And you know, if there's an actor or something on stage, the spotlight follows the actor. So basically, the thing that's being tracked, that's your actor or actress or whatever that the spotlight is shining on, meaning your camera is the spotlight. So basically what I'm saying is you click on the little remote, hit active track, draw a little box, hit spotlight, and hit OK. And now, as you can see, the drone's gonna stay where it's at. It's not gonna physically move. But as you can see, it's still following my truck. Just staying stationary. And so if I kept driving straight down that road, my drone, if the truck, the subject, which is my truck, the object would get too small and the drone would lose it. So what I'm getting at is what would spotlight mode be good for? Well, probably something like if you had a frozen pond and you're out playing hockey or something, skating around or something just in an area where your drone can stay still, but there's a lot going on you want to track something underneath. So um, as you can see, my drone's staying perfectly still. And let's see how good it does about turning right here as my truck drives underneath it. Is it gonna lose it? Oh, it almost did, but it kept it tracked. So anyway, guys, there's your three modes. This is a really hard vehicle to make. There's just a lot going on with driving and drone and all that. But anyways, I just kinda wanted to do a variant and a different version of active track and the different modes. Again, this has been the vehicle edition. Anyways, guys, if you like this uh, video and it helped you out or you learned anything, please smash that uh, thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. Until next time, this is Dylan. Have a good day.